Hi, everybody. Good morning, and thank you for tuning in to our Aquarium Online Academy, coming to you from the Aquarium of the Pacific. Now, my name is Stacy, and we are going to have a very interesting episode of Aquarium Live, where we get to find out a little bit more about how some of the animals are fed here at the aquarium, especially our otters. Now, we're going to be joined by Captain Joe of the Ocean Rangers and, uh, and a special guest today. So let's check in with Captain Joe and see who our special guest is. Hello, boys and girls. Welcome to the Aquarium of the Pacific. I'm Captain Joe of the Ocean Ranger, and I'm here with my co-host Sea Otter today in the Northern Pacific Gallery at the Aquarium. And we're here to investigate about food today, Sea Otter. Now, I do know that food is one of your favorite things. Sea Otters have a huge appetite, but unfortunately today, Sea Otter, we're not here to eat food. We're here to investigate food. I know. We're going to learn today about how our food is prepared for our animals and also how our food is fed out to our animals as well. So Sea Otter, let's team up. You go that way, find more about the preparation of the food, and I'll go this way and I'll find out more about how that food is given out to the animals. Ready? Let's do it. Excellent. All right. So it looks like Captain Joe and Sea Otter are going to go make a, do an investigation to find out a little bit more about how we feed our animals here. Now, if you have questions about how we feed our animals, please feel free to text us at the number below 562-286-1838. Uh, just remember that data rates may apply and get permission if you're uh, one of the kiddos out there that needs permission from their grown-ups. All right, so there's our text number right down there. And uh, I think I think Sea Otter went to uh, check in with maybe one of the people who cares for the otters to find out a little bit more about food preparation in our kitchen. Let's check in with her. All right, that's a great question. First of all, my name is Ron Mortensen, and I'm the assistant curator here for the bird and mammal group. Behind us, we have the food prep room. This is where all the food for all the animals, including you, comes from. All right, Sea Otter, well, as you can tell, this is a busy time in the morning. This is food preparation time. Behind you, we have food preparation going on for the fishes. Over here, we have food preparation going on for the sea otters. Anyone interested in that? Yeah. Food preparation going on for the birds. And finally, over here, we have food preparation going on for the seals and the sea lions. So we got a lot of food preparation going on in this room at this time of day, every day. Wow, that sounds like a whole lot of work. I wonder how they keep it all organized. All right, sea otters. So here we've got food prep going on for all your little otter buddies. We have to divide it up so we know who gets which because each otter gets a little bit different food. You see these are smaller bins. We got larger bins over here. We mix all their food together and then we take it out and we put it into these nice stainless steel bins which we wear on our pouch right here on our hips. So when we go in to feed, we have our hands free. That works out really well. You can see we have shrimp, we have clams, and we have squid. As a matter of fact, I think I still have some squid I need to cut up. You want to help me? All right, and we just weigh everything out based on what each otter needs, and each one's a little different. So we'll just cut up this squid here. Don't eat it. Don't eat it. This isn't yours. We'll just get this all cut up here. And they can eat whole squid, but the reason we cut it up is because it makes it easier for training. It gives us bite-sized pieces, kind of like popcorn to a sea otter, so that works out really well. Of course, seals and sea lions swallow their food whole, so we can feed them pretty big fish without having to worry about them sea otters chew their food. And we're done. We will just put this in the bin. Oh my goodness, everybody. Did you know that sea otters like to eat squid like popcorn? <laughs> that sounds kind of silly. Now we have a couple of questions that have rolled in. So thank you so much for texting us your question. One of them came from Olive. Hi, Olive. Um, how do otters eat without hands? Oh, that's a fantastic question. Um, they have 
paws, right? So um, we can see little sea otter paws and they kind of use their hands like paws. They don't have fingers and they can't do this, but they can hold on to things like this and eat it like that. So we'll get to see a little bit of a video a little later about how otters eat their food using their cute little paws. Great question. We have another question from London. Hello there. Do sea otters like to chew on wood? Oh, wow, that is a good question. There are lots of animals out there that do chew on wood, right? Now, a lot of those animals chew on wood because um, it helps to grind down their teeth a little bit because those are teeth from rodents like rats and mice and beavers even, and their teeth grow a lot throughout their whole life. So they chew on the wood to wear down their teeth so their teeth don't get too big. Sea otters are a little bit different. Sea otters' teeth are their teeth, and that's it, kind of like us. So, um, so they don't need to chew on wood, but they are very good chewers. They basically chew all of the different things that they like to eat. And we'll learn a little bit more about that in just a little bit. Now, another question, why do otters lay on their backs and why do babies lie on their bellies? Oh my goodness, I love those two questions. Why do otters lay on their backs? Well, if you lived in the ocean and you had to breathe the air just like sea otters and just like we would have to do when we go swimming, it's kind of tough if your face is inside the water, right? So instead, they kind of do a back float. And that means that they can still be in the ocean. They can back float, which is a little easier. They don't have to use a lot of energy. And they can still breathe the air really easy. Plus, their body, their chest especially, makes a really good table. That's actually where they put their food and they can eat from their chest. So, um, so that's one of the reasons why, a couple of reasons why they lay on their backs. And the babies stay on top of the, the mama because those babies um, need to get cleaned. And it's a lot easier for mama to clean the baby when the, when the baby is right on top of their chest. Plus, you don't want the baby to float away in the water. So another way is to keep it on you. Um, it's kind of like giving a baby a piggyback ride. <laughs> Great question. And then Benicio, how many babies do sea otters have at a time? Thanks, Benicio. Um, they usually have one baby. And that's because it takes so much energy to take care of that baby. They have to make sure that they get fed. They have to keep them nice and clean and they have to keep them safe too. And that takes a lot of energy and a lot of time. So one baby at a time is basically all they can really handle. Mike and Brooks, hi there. Uh, do we feed otters by hand and do they bite us? Ooh, that's a good question too. We do feed our otters by hand. In fact, we can hand them the food and they take it from us and then nom, 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 eat it themselves. <laughs> um, but we don't have to worry too much about them biting us because we are co-workers. So basically, um, we work with them. They trust the people that go in there and feed them because of the work that they do together. And that's one of the reasons why um, they don't, our, our keepers, our, our mammologists, don't have to worry too much about that. But they still are wild animals. And so we have to make sure that we treat them with respect and treat them like wild animals and, um, and treat them very well. Thanks for that question. And then Charlotte, where in the ocean do you get the food? Oh, that's a good question, Charlotte. The food for our otters comes from a, a supplier. So basically we buy the food and the food that we feed our otters is um, sustainable seafood. Now I know that's a really big word, sustainable, but what that means is all the seafood that we feed the animals here at the Aquarium of the Pacific are fed things that um, there's we're not worried about how we're taking them out of the ocean or they're taken out of the ocean in a way that doesn't hurt um, all of the ocean animals out there. So uh, it's, a, it's a safer way to make sure that the ocean stays um, healthy. All right. Um, and then we have a question from Sean here. How many otters does the Aquarium of the Pacific have? I believe we have five. <laughs> so we do have five otters. Now all of them may, may not be viewable all the time when we are open, um, but it's kind of neat to see that we have five of uh, uh, girl sea otters actually. All right, now I think let's check in um, with sea otter. I have a feeling she has been with her favorite foods for a really, really long time. I hope she's not too hungry. Let's see what she's up to. Oh, there she is. Um, 
She she sure does look hungry. Oh boy, I think we caught her. Sea otter, what are you doing? Oh, no, 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 sea otter. That's, that's not your food, that's not your food. Your food's in the refrigerator. Let's put this with your food and we'll go get yours. Your feeding time's coming. Come on. All right, sea otter. You ready to see where we keep your food? We keep it in the refrigerator. Let's go on in here. Here we are. This is the refrigerator. I know, it's cold. You should be good with that fur. I don't have fur on. I had to wear my sweatshirt. Here's your food right here. You can see your little bin is already gone. It's on its way up to the exhibit. So we got to get up there so that you can go get your food for the morning. Oh my goodness, it's a good thing we checked on that sea otter. She sure looks hungry. I bet she's gonna go get her breakfast now. Um, now, while we were checking in on sea otter, I got a message from Captain Joe. It sounds like the animals, uh, all the fish that live inside the exhibits are fed in the water. So sea otters can come out of the water and up onto land and that's how we can do our training and, um, and feeding sessions. But for our fish, they can't do that. So instead we have divers that go into the water and they can actually feed the fish um, inside the water with uh, special tools. So they have a bucket full of food and then they dive in and they go to specific places and the animals know those are the people that you have to go to to get food. So it's pretty interesting how we feed some of the fish here at the aquarium. Now feeding is not the only thing that we do here to care for our animals. In fact, sometimes the otters need to go to the veterinarian, which is the animal doctor. Sometimes it's just for a checkup, sometimes it's because they're sick, but our otters have to go in for a checkup every year. And when they do, they go right here, the Molina Animal Care Center. So we're gonna check in with my friend Shara, who's going to tell us a little bit more about how a, a checkup for a sea otter will go. Welcome Ocean Rangers! My name is Shara Seals. I am a veterinary technician here at the Molina Animal Care Center. This is our vet hospital for all of our animals here at the Aquarium of the Pacific. I work with Dr. Lance Adams, our veterinarian. Do you guys ever go to the dentist? Yeah, me too! Well, some of our animals here at the aquarium need to go to the dentist as well. So today we're gonna clean some teeth on a sea otter. In the wild, sea otters use shells like clams and urchins to naturally brush their teeth. But here in the aquarium, we help them out a little bit. We don't feed them shells. We take them to the dentist. Once a day, they get their teeth brushed with a toothbrush, just like us. And then once a year when the otters come for their dentist appointment, they have the same thing done as you and I would when we go. Let's go over some of the tools that we use to clean their teeth. Here we have a fake plastic otter skull. This shows you what their teeth look like. This is a polisher. This polisher is used to polish their teeth. So we have to use toothpaste as well. And this is bubblegum flavored. Use this toothpaste with the polisher to polish their teeth. And we make sure we get all the crevices. We also use this scaler. This gets in between the teeth where the polisher doesn't reach. And then we also have hand tools that we can use. These kind of act as dental floss. They can get in the really small crevices so we can pick all of the plaque out and keep their teeth clean. All right, now that you guys have seen some of the tools that we use to clean their teeth, let's do it for real. Today, we're gonna clean one of our sea otters, Betty. Gotta put my protective gear on. One thing though, they have to be asleep when we do this. So it's better for them and it's easier for us. So let's go check it out. All right, thanks so much, Shara. So now we've kind of seen what it's like when a sea otter has to go to get their checkup and get their teeth cleaned. Now out in the ocean, sea otters eat a lot of things with a really hard shell. And when they bite on those things, it kind of scrubs their teeth, just like you would give like a chew toy to a dog to help kind of clean their teeth. 
But here, since we feed them things like the shrimp that you saw, the squid popcorn, and sometimes some clam, those things are all very soft. And that's one of the reasons why we have to brush their teeth. Now, we have a few more questions that came in. Ella asked, how do otters sleep? So that's a good question, Ella. Do you remember how we were talking about sea otters floating on their back? That's actually how they sleep. So it's a really good way to just float, to be able to breathe, and to take a quick nap. Now, sometimes otters want to make sure they don't float away. So they'll wrap themselves in kelp, which is the seaweed that they live around. And sometimes they'll even hold paws, which you may have seen some photos and videos of. It looks pretty cute, <laughs> but it's really, really useful because they want to make sure that they stick together. Now, Georgia asks, do they swim fast? Sea otters are fairly fast swimmers. They're not the fastest swimmers in the ocean, but they can swim fast enough to go find their food. Now, the lucky thing for otters is that the things that they love to eat don't move very quick. In fact, if you think about it, a clam, which is an animal that has two shells like this that just kind of sits on the ocean floor, doesn't move very fast. A shrimp that has little legs and crawls around on the ocean floor also doesn't swim very fast. And of course, sea otters love to eat things like sea urchins. And those are little balls and they're spiky. And they walk around on the ocean floor and they also so don't swim very fast. So sea otters don't need to swim fast to catch their food. They just need to swim down to the bottom in order to collect the food and then swim back up to the top to breathe air again. So good question, Georgia. Thank you. And then a question from Drew and Connie, do baby otters swim? And yes, they do. In fact, they're actually better at floating than swimming when they're first born. So they are um, very floaty. And that's a really good thing because we want to make sure that baby otters who aren't the best swimmers yet, they haven't gotten the best practice, can stay on the top of the ocean so they can breathe. Ariana's question is, do baby otters live by themselves? Ariana, baby otters live with their moms. Yeah, they have to live with their moms because their moms will feed them milk, just like, baby, like us when we're babies. We have to drink milk too. And um, baby otters also need protection from their moms too. So, um, so they do live with their moms. And then Olive, where do otters sleep? In the water? Oh, we just talked about that, Olive. Yes, they do sleep in the water. Now, the otters here at the aquarium are really lucky because there's uh, land very close to them. So sometimes they crawl up on land and they fall asleep up there, but sometimes our otters still sleep in the water. Most of the time, sea otters live their, almost their whole life, if not their entire life, in the water. They don't really go on land very much when they live out in the ocean. So fantastic question, Olive. All right, now I think we've talked a little bit about what sea otters eat. So I have a question of the day for you. Let's name a food that we feed to our sea otters here at the Aquarium of the Pacific. Now, if you think you remember a food that we feed our otters here, you can yell it out to the screen. You can tell somebody that's in the room with you. You can um, write it down if you want to, or even just think about it yourself. What do we feed the otters here at the aquarium? Now you may remember, let's go ahead and show the answer. Now that may have been a little bit tough to see, but we feed them clams. Sometimes it's just the inside squishy part of the clam. That's the part they want to eat. Sometimes we give them clams that have the shells on it. And when we do, they have to get through the shell to get to the part of the clam they want to eat. So that's why you saw the otter banging it up against the wall in the ocean. They don't have walls to do that. So instead they find a tool like a nice flat rock that they put on their chest and they bash it against there until the um, clam can open and then they can eat the clam that way. We also feed them shrimp. You may have seen that in the middle section. And of course, that's popcorn squid. Mm -mm, delicious. <laughs> All right, everybody. Well, it's time for us to say goodbye. It was so nice that you were able to join us today. Um, I think we should maybe check in again with Captain Joe and Seattle and make sure we say goodbye to them too.
Bye. <laughs> All right. Well, thanks again for joining us, everybody. Have a nice rest of your day.